How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is a very very important one So let's just say uh, you picked up NHL 22 hut for the first time, right? And uh, you know, you're like, wait a minute. How do I get started? How do I even begin? Where do I even begin? Okay, so first things first uh, What I'm gonna suggest to you guys if you do not have it, I mean, you know, you definitely messed up but uh, having the X Factor version is very very crucial uh, to getting your, your team started as you simply get 10 hot diamond player choice packs two per month for the first five months and uh, That is a lot that is actually a lot of, of value Especially early on in the year that'll make a huge difference for your team And uh, I definitely think it's very important to have and if you don't do that you're gonna be making a big mistake um, You also get um, three days early access which is definitely important to get a you know a little bit of a head start um, Hut X Factor Player Choice Pack, simply very crucial as well. Uh, 25 options, uh, that is very, very important. So uh, we'll, we'll see exactly who those players are. I think it might be announced, but Hut X Factor Power Up Starter Pack, again, we don't know what that is. That could be very, very crucial as well. Up to four Hut X Factor Power Up Packs, one per month for four months starting in November 2021. So there you go. Very, very crucial stuff right there. Um, but let's get into the other basics of Hockey Ultimate Team, okay? So, you're starting hot, alright? And you're like, wait a minute, what do I do? So, and you're probably like, Henry, you're on 21. Well, I assume it'll probably be similar, right? Hut is hot at the end of the day. We know Riles is not going. We know Hut Chance is obviously not going. So, uh, let's kind of like talk about the basics of Hut and how to get started and, and what you want to do, alright? So, let's just say you loaded up, you know, NHL for the first time. You have a base team. You're just getting started. What I absolutely, absolutely suggest doing before you even play Rivals is play Squad Battles, okay? Squad Battles is very, 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 you know, effective way to, you know, get a good start to your team. Uh, and I, I really think that, uh, you know, it, it's underrated. People don't realize how effective Squad Battles can be, especially early on in the year. Um, if you look at this, like, early on in the year, these packs can be really, really, really good. Um, so, like, you get up to... You know, let's just say rookie one, you know, that, that's not great, but get to pro three and those packs early on are good I mean base cards have value uh, Early on so the first couple of weeks of squad battles can be very very important uh, Or just in general squad battles is good all year in my opinion the rewards could be different for all we know we don't know so um, Yeah, I mean it's definitely solid stuff pro one you even get up to mega packs and more player packs 17 k oh, sorry 12k not bad elite three and then eventually elite one you get three megas through those player packs in 17k and of course if you really keep grinding i mean there is some unbelievable rewards for the top 10 you get an ultimate pack especially early on rank one in squad battles is equivalent to going literally rank one in hut champs in my opinion the first week because these are tradable packs as well so and you get 100k coins that's insane 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 that's more guaranteed content than the hut champs rank one right there so obviously you get the player card in champs but uh, yeah, that is uh, very, very, very good. So squad battles is where I would definitely start number one. Once you've started squad battles, um, depending on, uh, you know, again, a bunch of different things. I mean, hut, it, it all depends, you know, what is like the objectives and stuff like that. Uh, you know, is it going to be similar to how it was that you could do most of these online? But like, you definitely want to make sure you, you know, take advantage of things. So a lot of these are online, right? So shots on goal, that was something you could do offline as well. So you can try to do that. You get some collectibles or whatever it might be, which is definitely beneficial. But uh, honestly, out of the squad battles, once you have a solid enough team, that's when I would start playing. Uh, I would start playing rivals. I really, really would. I think rivals is uh, is is what you want to start playing, and uh, you know it, it's definitely. You know, listen, rivals. Why it's good at the end of the day, it's 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 annoying to play against other people that are like right around your skill level. I get it, but rivals is very good because of course at the beginning, uh, you know you have an option. Right now I'm in D1, right? So. Uh, let's just say I finish in silver. This is division one action. Uh, you know, you have an option of, of uh, you know, jumbo player player pack to these untradeable that is, or uh, 45 here, which is definitely significant early on in the year. Division one hard to get to, of course, early, early, early on in the year. But uh, you know, in general, we get to gold, uh, 55k platinum, 67k diamond, 80k ultimate, 100k value. If you take the coins, that is. I mean, no one really likes taking coins because it's kind of boring to do that, right? But uh, in general, it's a very, very solid way to uh, to get it started, I, I would say, 100%. So, um, yeah, that's, that's you know, a little bit of a, just a, you know, a tip for you guys playing rivals early on. Make sure you have a good enough team where you don't get absolutely, you know, destroyed in games against other people. Because, trust me, that's frustrating and I get it. I really, really get it. Um, that's really what it comes down to, okay? So, uh, that's rivals right there. Uh, other thing that, of course, is, it's an obvious one. Um, it, it's champs. I mean... 
Champs is a really tough one though. Champs, you really want to make sure you're ready for champs because of course that is going to be the hardest mode that you play. You know, you can run into some absolute really, really top end players. And champs, I'll be honest, is not the best when it comes to rewards. Not the most rewarding mode, uh, absolutely. So, um, you know, it's definitely, you know, it's there, but um, it's, listen, it's, it's not, it's not amazing, that's for sure. Like the rewards are kind of hit or miss. Hopefully they're better, that's for sure, and the whole system's kind of bad. It's got to be reworked in, in terms of, you know, the fact that uh, you could win, you know, 19 games and not get the top 20 player item is really, really sad and ridiculous in my eyes. So, hopefully that does change because it really has to. It's not a good system right now how they have it. You know, being top, you know, 50 or 52 in the world and I get two ultimate packs and Jumbo Elite pack and oftentimes I end up getting based, you know, Matthews is my best card. It's not, it's really, all right, again, Early on in the year, fine. No problem with that, because Matthews, of course, is, un is insane. It's an unreal card. But, like, once you get, like, a month in, dude, these packs are not that good. I'll be honest with you guys. They're really not. So, uh, hopefully, champ's different. But, um, definitely, uh, it's important to, you know, figure that out. And, uh, you know, another thing that I want to mention, guys, is, uh, you know, work on some synergies. Uh, work on some synergies, but I wouldn't say center your whole team around synergies, especially when you first get started, because, realistically... Um, synergies are great, but when you start sacrificing, you know, better cards for synergies, that's when you really start messing up in my eyes, right? Like, it's important to have these synergies, but, like, some synergies are just not that worth going for, right? Like, I don't know, like, a, a, a synergy like, I don't know, uh, like, Thief, it's nice, but it's not that important, right? Like, switch checking, like, face offs, it's not that big of a deal. If you, if you activate it by accident, cool, but if not, really don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal, so... Yeah, don't really worry about synergies too much. I mean, it's nice to get them activated, but don't center your whole team around it. Um, of course, uh, another thing you could always do, I mean, early, early on, you know, when the game first comes out, the auction house is very interesting as well. You could simply, uh, you know, you could work the market a little bit. Of course, I don't know how the market's going to be this year, especially because it's uh, a four-console thing, so we'll see how that ends up going, but um, you definitely could uh, figure that out. I can't believe there's 7,000 cards in the market, so that is really what shocks me, but... Um, let's just say so I have 32k, right? So with 32k, buy now maximum, and then I'll search, of course, uh, for that amount, and then I can go all the way to the 59th minute. It's just a very old trick, of course. Everyone has been knowing this for a very long time. We've been playing Huff for years. You all know about this, and I've made a bunch of videos on this. And uh, yeah, it's really, really effective. Uh, if you see a card that you think, wow, you know, they're very, very effective, or they're very, very, uh, sorry, underpriced, uh, you could buy them and uh, you could flip them for more value. That's you know, a little bit of an easy way to get it going at first. Like, if you see, like, a base Crosby, maybe he's going for, like, 60k or something, and you see him go for, like, 40, buy him right away, of course. And you can easily sell him for profit, and uh, that's a good way to get some coins early on as well. So, yeah, that's that's a good way right there uh, for the auction house as well. Uh, you know, I'll mention challenges, but listen, I mean, they're really not too uh, rewarding, like, especially, like, the rookie and these challenges. I mean, it's, it's good coins, don't get me wrong, but... I wouldn't be spending all your time on it. I think the other ways I just mentioned are kind of more effective and, and not as frustrating because these are definitely more a frustrating thing to do. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, I mean, again, if you're really looking to get some coins early on, it's not terrible for sure, but it's not something I feel like you should be, you know, doing first and right away. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, Rush, I mean, it's solid. Again, Rush, Rush, I'm sure it'll be back, of course. Rush, I would dabble in a little bit. I mean, if the rewards are also... I mean, to be fair, even if the rewards are the same as they are, like, now, day one, you know, week one, it's not bad, because you can definitely get some solid base card pulls. You get, like, a base McDavid in, like, one of these random packs. It's not impossible or improbable, so, I mean, I think Rush could be solid, I guess, at first, but, uh, you know, more than likely, guys, for me, you know, the main points of this video, to really, you know, think about it and to break it down for you, uh, if you're picking up Angel 22 Hut and you're loaded in for the first time, make sure before you, you know, go online, I would play Squad Battles, you know, get a week or two rewards of that, and then try to build some some solid cards up. And yeah, have that you can eventually go into rivals and start taking coins as rewards if you want. If you want to start saving up for you know specific cards, that is, and then eventually deep, you know, dive deep into champs, which is again a lot harder. But um, other than that, it's it's not a, a crazy amount of ways to really get started for hut. Besides that, you know, just be prepared and uh, have fun. That's the most important thing, guys. Have fun with the game, and that's really all I can say. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess to have the video, we're gonna open uh, a little bit of a, a quick premium pack, because why not? I, I guess I got it for my weekly reward. Probably gonna get nothing, but we'll see what we get here, right? So, big money, no whammy, and we got nothing, alright? So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it helped you out. Uh, I do appreciate the support as well. 
Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, Enrique with three E's, and join the Discord. Talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. Remember to use code Enrique for 10% off your G Fuel orders, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.